it. I'll demonstrate it by simply having some now. Just to show you, mm. we're not fibbing. And actually, it's, no, it's actually nice. Um, and you can actually, the one thing with coconut oil is you can get... Um, Hi, this is Mark and Steve from ilovewaitloss.co.uk, the place to be if you want to lose weight and increase your muscle tone. Today we're going to give you a couple of snacks that you can use every day to help you lose fat and also increase your energy. So we often get asked, um, what can you snack on? You're, um, you have a dip in the morning or you have a dip in the mid-afternoon. Um, what can you snack on that's healthy, that's going to help you lose fat but also give you energy and kind of get rid of any pangs, any hunger pangs that you have? I've got two here. Um, one um, I think is a really good mid-morning option, and that is avocado. So Stephen will explain the, the reasons behind it, but what I suggest you do for your snack is you cut it in half. So cut an avocado in half, um, obviously make sure it's ripe, and then you wrap it up in cling film or, or foil, take it to work or wherever you're about, and then mid-morning you can um, simply take a teaspoon and spoon it out and eat it and it is beautiful like that. Um, if you really need, you can put some um, balsamic glaze, a small amount of balsamic glaze, which is actually kind of my favourite at the moment. Um, and that's going to keep, you'll find that keeps you um, full uh, and gives you energy all the way up until lunch, and probably past lunch to be fair, um, but it's a great fat loss food. Now avocado, like Mark says, is very, very good for fat loss. I know some people get a little bit confused because they say, oh, but it's full of fat, how can I lose weight or fat if I'm eating so much fat. And that's actually one of the old myths that people think that to lose fat, and I think it's perpetuated by some things like Weight Watchers and things like that, that by cutting down on fat, you're going to lose weight and lose fat. That's not actually the way your body works because what happens is your body needs good, healthy fats to be able to lose fat. So if you're denying your body those sorts of uh, nutrients, then it actually will retain, it's far more likely to retain fat. So by actually improving and increasing the amount of healthy fat you have in your diet, you'll find that your body is far healthier and far more readily keen to lose fat. Um, another thing you can do with avocados is actually make it into guacamole. Um, it's one of the things we suggest at our centers is that you make it into guacamole. There's lots of different recipes you can use, but some onions and uh, different things like that and then you can get some raw vegetables such as peppers, carrots, and you can just dip them in, say mid-morning, mid-afternoon. What you'll find is that really will, like Mark says, stabilize your blood sugar, but keeps your energy levels really, really steady and will really keep you, uh, well, like Shreddy say, locked up till lunch, but it'll actually... That was an amazing advert. That was a great a advert, uh, but it's a fib, but that will actually do what Shreddy says it does, but doesn't. So, um, going on with the same uh, kind of concept, you'll notice that we are giving you um, foods that contain fat. Um, and the reason behind that is that when you eat fat, healthy fat, you don't actually produce any insulin. And basically you can use, uh, think of insulin as like a um, storage hormone. Um, if you're eating sugary foods, you shoot, your insulin shoots up and you'll find that you're going to have um, a dip about an hour, even half an hour after eating sugary foods. Whereas with um, fat, fatty foods, healthy fat foods, you're not going to get that dip, your blood sugar is going to stabilize or stay stable for a very long period of time and that's what you want, that's what you want, steady energy. So um, a great snack um, and it kind of might be a bit um, strange to you initially but once you've started and tried it for a couple of days you'll notice is um, simply have a coconut oil, a little thing of coconut oil, this is organic and you'll notice that it's hard at room temperature, even under these harsh lights, hence the, um, the wrinkles. Uh, it's still hard, which means you can take it to work, you can have it in your desk, but all you're going to do is um, get a, a cup of warm water and take a teaspoon and mix it in your water. It will melt and then you just drink that and you'll find it's strange. Like it's firstly, it's actually very good about um, helping with bacteria. So if you have any bacterial stomach issues, it's going to help with that. But also it's going to give you um, great healthy fat that's going to stabilize your blood sugar, give you energy for the whole afternoon. It will stop you having any pangs. And actually latest research shows um, that the more fat uh, and the more coconut oil effectively that you can have in the day, the more fat you're going to lose. So you can get rid of any thoughts that um, eating that fat is going to make you fat, it's actually going to help you lose fat. So one of the things we should really caveat um, what we're talking about now, we're talking about healthy fats. Now if you notice, these are exactly pretty much natural occurring forms of fat. So we're not talking hydrogenated um, processed forms of fat, we're not talking sunflower oil, we're not talking the type of fat you get in a croissant or something like that, we're talking fat in its most natural form. So 
People always um, try to compare fat, but if you were to take fat from a coconut in your body, then say fat from a McDonald's hamburger would. So whilst coconut oil contains saturated fat, good saturated good, fat, it's good saturated fat, and it's saturated fat in the form that your body is most uh, keen to use and is actually healthy for it. I'll demonstrate it by simply having some now. Just to show you, mm. we're not fibbing. And actually, it's, no, it's actually nice. Um, and you can actually, the one thing with coconut oil is you can get unflavored or you can get coconut flavored. So if you don't like the, the flavoring of coconut oil, then um, you can get unflavored. You can get it in any health food store. And actually now Tesco's, Waitrose, they all do it. Um, so make sure you pick some up because that is a, a very good snack to have. So, um, as always, I'd love to hear from you. Do you, have you been using these um, foods as snacks? Do you have any other um, thoughts and any other suggestions for all of our listeners, readers, um, that you think and um, that you think are great to snack on and have helped you? Comment in the box below. We'd love to hear from you. This is Mark and Steve from iloveweightloss.co.uk. Most uh, keen to use and is actually healthy for it. I'll demonstrate it by simply having some now. Just to show you, mm. we're not fibbing. And actually, it's, no, it's actually nice um, that the more fat uh, and the more coconut oil, effectively, that you can have in the day, the more 